Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jake, uh, this is Jump Jet, and we're going through the uh, typical questions you get during a front end or web dev uh, interview. So there's a list of like 100 questions and I'm going through each and every one, it's taking a while. Uh, we made it up to the CSS section uh, and let's just hit it. This one's not gonna take too long. So the question is, it comes in two parts. What's the difference between resetting and normalizing CSS? And then the second part is which would you choose and why? So um, first let's jump into like resetting and normalizing. When you, um, when you display a web page on a browser, every browser has its inbuilt style, some based upon the operating system, some just based upon the browser itself. They have different ways of, of uh, showing certain items, like for example, uh, the H1s, the, the type of padding, um, when they display lists, even when there's like selects or buttons, what have you. They all have different, slightly different styles. This can get annoying um, and it can interfere with maintaining consistency across different browsers. You want your users to see the same experience whether they're on a Mac or Windows or whether they're on Chrome or Safari. Uh, and to, to sidestep this, to fix the issue, we have two things. One is a, a reset and one is a normalize. What they do, essentially, you put them at the top of your file, your CSS or SAS file, and they uh, override the, the browser's styles. Now, now let's get to the, the difference between them. A reset is basically super hardcore, and it just says, for these elements I'm about to show you, just like wipe them out, set them back to zero, and I'm gonna take care of all of the styling so I maintain consistency across browsers. Normalize is usually a bigger file and it's more opinionated. So it says, well, I'm gonna uh, manipulate the style of this and the style of that, but I'm not gonna just reset everything to zero. I'm, I'm gonna like define some styles I wanna apply. So actually, this is really cool. This guy, uh, Zach Wolf, uh, has put together a, a very handy code pen um, right here called this Normalize VS Reset. Normalize VS Reset. And um, what he's done is he split the page down the middle here and you can actually see um, the difference between a normalize and a reset. So I can show you the HTML. Um, it's just, it's very simple, basic HTML. And then with no other styles applied, um, on the left here, this is how uh, the the browser will uh, show you those elements with a normalized CSS applied. And then over here on the right, the reset. So you can see the reset is just barren. Like it's, it's like there's no CSS being applied. Like maybe the button has like the most minor of styling applied to it. But there's not really a lot of stuff happening here. So even the H1s, there's no difference. The difference between a, an unordered list and the list items, there's just no styling. So that's what a reset does. It just obliterates the styling and says, you start from scratch. Whereas over here with the, um, the normalize, it's a bit more opinionated. So it does uh, remove some of the browser styling, but it also says, well, let's not be over the top. Let's have some basic styles between an H1 and an H2 or an unordered list in the list item. So that's what a reset is and what a normalized uh, file is. What's really interesting is, like I said, a reset is basically like the nuclear option. And funnily enough, I'll, I'll jump over here. One of the, the most famous and most widely used resets is this, um, this Maya web, I think it's Eric Maya, uh, put together this reset and you'll actually see that the entire reset is maybe like 50 lines of CSS. It attacks everything here, HTML, body, image, um, centers, tables, everything. And it just goes blur, get rid of all those styles and just start again. So a reset, one of the differences between the two is the reset is a lot smaller because it has less opinions. It just wants to wipe out the styles. Whereas a normalize, which we can see over here, this is normalized CSS. Uh, you can note the, 
the uh, URL up there. Let's have a look at the normal CSS. This thing is pretty large. Um, so we've got a couple hundred lines. What do we got here in total? Almost 500 lines of styles. So as I mentioned, a, a normalize is more opinionated. It does apply some styles, uh, whereas a reset is just nuclear option. Let's get rid of everything. Okay, so the second part of the question you might get uh, is which would you choose and why? So I would say I would answer this question in the way that, well, since a, a, a reset is going to wipe away all of the styles, I would use that if I need to have like total 100% um, opinionated control on every single style from the ground up. And also when I have less of a time restriction um, and the, for example, the client brief is that they wanted very specifically you know, to the styles to be this way and this way only. I would use a normalize when I'm not so concerned about this. And also I would add to that, if I'm using a, a front end library or a framework, let's say for example, Bootstrap, actually I would see whether the framework or the library I'm using already includes a reset or a normalize anyway, uh, in which case, Unless I'm building everything, you know, from scratch, uh, I probably don't need to add a reset or normalize. So I would say to determine whether I need to use either one, first I would look at the library or the framework that I'm actually going to use and see if they already have one. Um, but yeah, apart from that, like some people have said that this is more like designer centric, but I think if you're a front end developer uh, or a web dev, you're making websites, it's important to know what reset and normalize um, are and at the very least it's good to know the difference between them when you might use them and it's also useful to know that a lot of frameworks um, or libraries will include a reset uh, or a normalize already uh, yeah so yeah nice and quick I think uh, yeah so hopefully that helps you out uh, I'll be going through a lot more CSS questions soon and if you like this, you find it helpful, or if I said something completely stupid and you totally disagree, uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe, like it, and good luck with your interviews. All right, bye.